It all started when a lady knocked on the door when my mother was living here and she was having, making dinner for two friends and a woman came to the door and started asking about a movie, which surprised all three of them. Nothing like that happens in East Corinth. And uh, my mother really didn't know what to say. And she finally said, would you like a piece of pie? The location, I think, you know, worked so well and was chosen because of the simplicity of the buildings. And it was easy to kind of get around with camera the river for the bridge. Everything seemed to work pretty well together. And then on the hill, uh, we built the facade of the modern house. Oh, there was a lot of buzz in the community, a lot of excitement. Um, some people weren't happy. They were a little nervous about what all these Hollywood types would do uh, in a small town like this, but the crew was wonderful. We had research on little towns through New England, so for the signage and stuff, we try to kind of make that go. And same with the bridge. We looked at a bunch of different covered bridges, uh, but we had our own issues with that, so uh, we had to make a course so the car could fall through it and went whatever. And, uh, and the big thing was with the covered bridge was we had to block off the creek, because below the bridge was a tiny little creek, and we needed at least three or four feet of water for the car to land and actually get under the water. Um, so we, we constantly were blocking this little creek with these one-ton blocks of concrete and we'd get the water level up to five or six feet and then a big storm would come through and it would wash them all out and we'd have to come back. We did it at least three times before we finally shot the movie. That was, that was probably the biggest thing that made everybody crazy. I remember the machine, you know, the dirt, <laughs> that was the greatest machine. It did nothing, it just dug dirt up and spit it out the back. It was just animated, you know, it was very Tim Burton. I mean, Tim really hadn't done anything. He had done, you know, uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure and a couple of little Disney shorts that he, you know, a couple of little shorts that he did. But it was such a weird movie. We, we all thought, God, this movie is gonna be so weird. I wonder, I hope people go see it because it's gonna be kind of fun and kooky, but we really had no idea how big it was going to be. I mean, the fact that we got nominated for an Oscar totally blew my mind, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, whoa, you know? We, we were in good company, too. I mean, yeah. 